Hi everyone, I'm Mika and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to check out my other videos. So in today's video, I'm kind of just going to show you what it's like here at Pitt. And yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so as most of you may know, I'm here in the US for an exchange program and you know, I really want to ex I really want to share this experience with a lot of you. But you know it's obviously impossible because most of you are in the are back home in the Philippines or in different countries or in different states. And I figured, you know, w what better way to share it with you than through my vlogs? And so, you know, in this video, you're just gonna see uh, maybe parts of my everyday routine, um, what's different, what's the same back home, and obviously, wait, one difference is the snow. And you know, I'm also gonna show you a couple of cool stuff. And I also just kind of want to give you an idea of what it's like here at the University of Pittsburgh. So yeah, um, I might split this video into two parts. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so hi, it's 9.30 a.m. And I'm getting really hungry for breakfast, so I'm taking you to market with me. And it's just like, I don't know, 15 floors down, no 16. Anyway, um, I'll just take you there and you'll see what our um, cafeteria looks like. Okay, so this is our cafeteria. So all I need is this ID to get me inside and yeah, let's go inside. Yasmin again. <laughs> You're getting potatoes and what is that? French toast. It looks like egg bread. Is it? It's egg bread. Yeah. I'm going to get egg. So basically once you're in, you can just get as much food as you want and you can stay for as long as you want. But the breakfast choices are not are more limited than the dinner ones. So I'm going to try to take you guys here during dinner. Is that all you're getting? No, I'm going to get more. Okay, yeah. We can go for like a round two, round three, round four, yeah, round five. Come back. Uh -huh. um, what's that over there? Sausage, I think. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is what I got for myself. But yeah, we also have unlimited drinking fountains. There's a dough one here, which is probably what I'm getting. So Yasmin, what did you get to drink? Drink? Oh, milk with coffee. <laughs> milk with coffee. I, yeah, I put too much milk, so might as well It's okay, I understand. I do the same. I got some apple juice. So yeah, this is our breakfast. What do you call this? Breakfast at market. I usually eat breakfast with her. Say bye. Bye. Okay, so like one cool thing about Pitt is like the printing. So I'm just gonna show you. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was cool. So yeah, I have to print this um this project, this requirement for a class. And so yeah, so I just select the printer. I'm gonna select the color station. And I'm just gonna select one-sided printing. And I'm just going to go print that. And there it prompts me to enter my university computing account username and password. And I have it saved. So yeah, um, it's up in the queue and let's go to the library to have these printed. Okay, so now that we're done printing, when you step outside of the library, you see this. Now this building is the Cathedral of Learning. We call it Kathy for short. And I think it's one of the tallest educational buildings in the world. I don't know what rank it is, but I think it's the tallest educational building in the US. But yeah, it's really pretty inside, so let's go there.
So yeah, this is what it's like inside. Kind of like Hogwarts, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're on our way to the 36th floor. That's where um, the view is from Kathy. I think that's the highest floor you can go to, so yeah. Okay, so um, I actually have to do my laundry, so I'll take you guys with me. And you know, that's another thing that's different about here and back home. Because back home, like, I have someone wash my clothes for me. But here, I have to do my own laundry. And let me tell you a quick story. Uh, there was a time I was washing my clothes when I wanted to pre-wash it. So I just, like, poured a little of the detergent on the piece of clothing. And I tried to... um rub the fabric against each other but I was so frustrated because I was like why isn't it bubbling up why isn't it foaming up and I was like oh my god this detergent sucks so I looked at the bottle and found out that it was fabric conditioner and not detergent and the whole time I was washing my clothes I wasn't using detergent oh my god and well, you learn something new every day, and that day I definitely learned something. I learned that the whole time I wasn't really cleaning my clothes, but rather just making them smell more fragrant. <sighs> but yeah, um, let's go do my laundry. And um, this time I'm really using detergent. I can show you the bottle later. So yeah. Okay, so this is our laundry room and I found two empty washers so I'm just going to load my clothes in there real quick. Um, of course, I'm going to have to separate the whites and the colors and yeah, I'll be right back after loading them in. Okay, so my clothes are now loaded up in the washers and I'm just going to yeah, close the doors and Put some detergent in the thing. <laughs> and as you can see, this time I'm really using detergent. And yeah, so this is B10 and B8. And I'm gonna have to remember that for you'll see. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pay for it. So the washer number was 10. And I'm just gonna wipe my card. And eight. So yeah, I'm just gonna start the machine. This one's the colors, and this one's the whites. Yeah. Now it's time for the dryer. I'm using these downy dryer sheets. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did a while ago but this time for the dryer basically. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. Part two will be posted next week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.